Welcome back to the Tool Crib. Today I picked up a couple of different versions of Klein self-adjusting wire strippers and I thought this might be a good opportunity to get some of my multi-tools together that have the, the either have dedicated package openers or they have blades that are uh, you know short blades that you can make very controlled cuts uh, to try to see which one might work best on something like this. Now, obviously, you can get through all these with just a regular knife blade. And for most people, that's going to be just fine. Uh, it's a little bit unwieldy, though, when you're trying to cut through this stuff with a larger knife blade. I actually like to have something that's a little bit more controlled. So I like to use a you know shorter blade. And that's the reason why I picked up uh, the Swiss Army II that I recently got that uh, became part of my work EDC. So let's try them out against, uh, you know, different versions, different models on different brands of multi-tools, and we'll see which one uh, performs the best. Let me show you what we're working with. So a couple of these are going to be dedicated package openers, and then others, like I mentioned before, are going to be just kind of knife blades. So what we've got here is the Leatherman Wingman, which has a dedicated package opener. Now, the Mini Champ Alox is really not called out as a package opener, but it should work. And, and I've used it in that fashion before. I've found that it's not the greatest, but it'll, it'll get the job done. Then we have the Gerber Dime, which does have a dedicated package opener. Then for the stand-in for all of the, of the free series, we're going to use the Leatherman Free uh, T2. On its blade, it has a cut edge here. We'll see how well it does on clamshell packaging. It does pretty good on opening up box tape and stuff of that nature, but I've never really tried it that much on a... I don't ever remember trying it on a clamshell, to be honest with you. So we'll uh, we'll see how those perform. Now, that's going to be the, the same tool that's across the, the uh, Free Series line. So P2, P4, T2, T4, K2, K4, uh, and then the X models for those knives as well. Then we have the... Uh, Victorinox Swiss Tool Spirit X, which has also kind of the same kind of fashion. Maybe it's a little bit better grind on that. Uh, it's ground into the side there, so the front part is a chisel and the side part is more of a, of a package opener. Then we've got the Gerber EAB Lite, which just has a standard utility blade, but it's short and makes a pretty decent control cut. I thought I'd also try out the Electrician, because the Electrician has a short blade on it. Uh, that can be used as a draw cut. It doesn't have any hook portion to it, but then again, neither does the Gerber EAB Lite. And then finally, the one that I bought for this specific task, and it's part of my work EDC now, and that is the Victorinox uh, Swiss Army 2. So let's try them all out and see how they perform. Okay, we're going to start off today with the, the Mini Champ. Now, I'm going to tell you that a couple of these... Because I'm right-handed, the grind profile of them is going to be on the opposite side. So that may make a difference on how they perform, too. Really, it would be better if, if I was left-handed or pulling this from the left side. I think with the grind being on the top side would really aid in, in uh, cutting better. But we'll give it a shot. So let me get this pierced here, if I can. Takes a little bit to get it pierced because of that back angle that it has on there, but it gets through there okay. And once you get set in there, it doesn't do too bad. So not it's not it's not great, but it does a fine job of cutting in there once you get started. Actually, what I should do is I should reprofile this one so that it cuts it it's more of a front angle instead of that hook angle but then again this is not called out to be a dedicated package opener so the the mini champ does pretty pretty decent now we'll go to the gerber dime and again we have the same problem it'd be better if i was doing this left-handed or if i was left-handed as opposed to having that grind going down but we'll give it a shot so the swiss champ did or excuse me the mini champ did okay up to that point so let me get this one in here and see if it'll... Now, this one's a little tougher. Actually, I'm going to try to switch left-handed. I'm not left-handed, so, you know, this may be a little cumbersome, but... Mm, it's not really doing that great. So, it, I mean, it's okay. And if you control it right, I suppose you could... But I'm not getting the best results from the dime. Actually, it's working better like that. If I go down into into the package, instead of trying to cut it sideways, just if I, if I where I have more backer, more force to put against it, then it does pretty good. So it's not doing too bad there. 
The next one is uh, the Wingman. And the Wingman actually has a very nicely designed uh, package opener. In fact, it's so, it was so good that, that I took one out of my Rev and, and uh, installed it in my Leatherman Super Search. And it's just worked incredibly well. So let's try the Wingman now. We'll pick up where we left off here. Actually, with the Wingman, I think I want to start over because I want to I want to start with a fresh pierce, kind of because I know this one works pretty well. So you set it in there, and boy, you can really get a lot better results out of the Wingman because of the way the the grind profile goes back when you're pulling it. It it helps to keep it locked in place right on that plastic and so it just does a, a much better job than the other two before it the other two worked okay but this one just really is works a lot better than than that one the next one's going to be the t2 now this one might be a little tougher because this really doesn't have any kind of hook on it and it's really not as sharp as obviously as some of the knives that we're going to be using but we'll give it a shot so we'll try it out here in front and see how we do well, maybe I didn't give it enough credit. It's it's not bad. You can see that it really pierced through there quite nicely. Now, I wasn't trying to go sideways with it. I was just trying to go straight down against the table. Uh, when you start getting into the corners, it has a little bit of an issue. But on straight runs like that, it should work just fine. So it, this one's actually not too bad. It's it's better than I thought. I, I know it works really well on cutting through... Um, uh, tape when you get you know like you get an amazon box or something and cutting through packaging tape it does real well but i'm kind of surprised a little bit impressed actually how well it's handling uh, this hard and pl uh, hard plastic the next one is the swiss tool spirit x and this one should do fine so we'll start on our fresh side over here and pierce through there and it does a really good job uh, again it's probably going to have similar issues yeah Trying to get around these little corners and stuff, it wants to try to slip out at that point. But when you're on nice straight runs like that, then that little edge cutter does quite well. So this one does. This one and and the uh, free T2 are going to be pretty much on par with one another. Okay, now we're going to get into the knife blades. So the first one obviously is going to be the utility blade. And it gets through there. I'll probably need to switch my utility blade out. This is probably more of, of the blade I have in here than anything else. But obviously the blade's going to cut it just fine. And because uh, because it's a little shorter, you can see that, yeah, it'll do fantastic job of cutting through there. Nice short blade so you get a nice controlled cutting. Uh, you really get to control the knife well is what I'm getting at. Okay, so that one does really well. Just a utility blade, just you can hardly beat them. The next one is going to be the electrician. And now this is really not supposed to be uh, a package opener. It's just not f called out. But it'll do the job quite nicely because it's a nice sharp blade, a uh, small blade that you can really control. So we'll try it over here on this side. And it, it it's basically on par with with uh the utility blade it does it does quite well and in fact i can control this one just a little bit better because uh the blade's just a little bit shorter it, it's just a little easier to control on this shorter blade now the last one and the one that i picked up for this task and now i'm kind of running out of places to cut on it uh is the hawkbill blade that comes on the s uh, the uh, swiss army 2 so let me try to actually i'll just try to come up here well I'm in the wrong spot there. Let me just continue on across here. You can kind of see, this is really the reason I bought this thing. Because that little hook blade just really grabs in there. And so, it makes a very nice cut for getting around this stuff. Now, I would probably say that the Wingman, that dedicated package opener, works incredibly well. And this one works well, actually, this one is not piercing as well. Yeah, not too bad. Let me bring that wingman back in here because, and it's probably because the plastic is giving on me a little bit because it's not in the. Yeah, that's pretty much what it is. The wingman, the wingman, 
is having pretty much the same issue because I'm not be ain't being able to push down against it. So let me set this to the side and we'll give it a shot on the edge over here. There we go. Now this one is actually cutting through two layers of plastic at the same time on the wing, but you can see that the little hook on there allows me to really control this thing. You can see there's it went through a double layer, but it's really controllable and that's that's the main thing with with these little package openers then if i pierce it with this one yeah i'm not getting through that second layer with that one and well i guess for the most part i did so honestly to be honest this one works really really well but I have to say that I think maybe the, the dedicated package opener to the Wingman still actually might work just a touch better because of that hook design. It, it keeps that knife placed in there, that the, you know, the, the cutter really trapped where it's supposed to be. And this one, you have to have the right pressure on it or it tends to try to slip out on you. Now, all of these package openers and knives will do the job there's no question about it every single one of them will but the best results are definitely out of the swiss army 2 and the wingman where you know the gerber dime did okay the the mini champ did okay uh i'm kind of more impressed really with with the t series or with the the free series how well it actually got through there and same is true of the the uh, Swiss tool. It did a, it did a fine job, and especially consider that neither one of these have hooks uh, or any kind of a hooked blade on them. So both of those did really really well. But if I was going to choose the two that did the best, it's definitely going to have to be the Wingman and the Swiss Army two. And I'm thinking maybe the Wingman is still just a touch better, but. I really like the uh, the Swiss Army too because of its uh, its lightweight, and I don't want to carry a complete full extra multi tool, and that's more of the reason why I got the Swiss Army too. Well, this has been a look at some of the different uh, uh, of the different cutting instruments for uh, for package opening. Uh, some of them again were dedicated knives that really or not really called out to do that job, but all of them did quite well in their own right. Well, my name is Ben. You've been watching the Texas Tool Crib. I appreciate you watching. I'll see you in the next one.